This is Discharged Media, and I'm going to show you how to uh, change zip folders into IPAs, which are originally supposed to be IPAs, uh, which is the app. It's the type of file that is the app on iTunes, and they're pretty much in a zip. So what you're going to do first, you're going to download the folder or the file in the description that I created. It's going to be a folder of everything that you need. Don't worry about iFunbox I because that... That's just for open SSHing your iTouch, which you don't need to worry about now, at least. Um, what you're going to do first is you're going to go into the search box on the start, and you're going to search in folder, and then you're going to click up here, folder options, and you're going to go to view, and right here, you're going to uncheck hide extensions for known file types. You're going to click apply, and then OK. That's the first step. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to open up the folder, and then you're going to open up the zip file. And you're going to copy the payload and the iTunes artwork into that folder over here. You can see it right over here. Copy it into there. Now you don't need this anymore. Now you're going to go to the Plist editor, which you can download in the description. There's a, um, there's a URL. There's a link in the description to download this. Click on External Mirror 1. And do the setup. Okay, so now that you have this, you're going to open up a file and you're going to look for uh, the folder that you're in, which is the iTouch Apps Converter folder. You're going to go to Payload and you're going to look for the info.plist uh, uh, file. You're going to open up the info.plist file, open it, and you're going to see all of these things and the text and you don't have to understand it because this next step is really easy. You're going to go back into the folder and you're going to click code.txt. And this is what you're going to copy. You're going to copy this, control C to copy or right click copy. Now you don't need this anymore. And you go back to the plist editor and you click down here in an open space. What I did was I just clicked enter to add a new space and you cr and you press control V to paste or just right click paste and I don't know but I like to tab this over so it looks like the same so pretty much you just added another few lines okay and you're just gonna save it just click it a bunch of times to make sure you saved it it's gonna ask you one more time say yes now that the payload uh, the payload <laughs> now that the payload is correct you're gonna copy test.ipa and then you're going to paste it right in the same spot. You're going to right click it again, rename it, and you're going to change the extension to ZIP or RAR. It's a zip ar archive or whatever. And you click yes. And now you can see inside of the IPA, you see the, pav the payload. And you can see that. So now what you're going to do is you're going to exit out of this and you're going to copy the payload and the iTunes artwork into the test uh, the test copy which you made the zip you're going to copy those both sorry you're going to copy those both into there now if you open it you should see that the payload all, uh, has a shape shape app which is the app that I'm doing right now okay now all you have to do is rename it again Rename it whatever you want. I'm going to call it Shape Shape because that's the app. And then I'm going to name it IPA for the iTouch app. Okay? You're going to click Enter. And you're going to click Yes. And now that, now you have the, um, the finished test. You can get rid of this stuff. iTunes artwork, you can get rid of that. And now you have the real IPA. You double click it and it brings you into iTunes. And it should show that you have the right app. There it is, right there. I already have it, so I'm going to click Replace, and it's right there.